Greetings, it's Living Fruits on YouTube and I have a raw vegan dessert recipe to demonstrate. I'm just inviting you to feel your way through this recipe with me. So it starts with a nut, nut based base. And I'm going to put a quarter of raw nuts in the food processor and then I'm going to use four dates. These are just ordinary dates. So pick those. And walnuts and chocolate go really well together in brownies. Now you get chocolate brownies and they have the walnuts in the bottom. I'm kind of going for that sort of a flavour. Oops, I just dropped one of my picks. Actually I'm going to use five dates because these are quite small dates. If these were medules I would use three because I'm just making a couple of portions. Dessert spoon full of um, coconut flakes. These are unsweetened organic coconut flakes. And this gives it a kind of a crunch, kind of a nice sort of texture, the coconut. A pinch of salt, a pinch of sea salt, brings out the flavour. Just a small pinch of the other ingredients. Okay, so I just blended those until they kind of, it just begins to stick together, it can stick together like that, so it's not gone completely into a pastry type texture. And then, I'm going to press some of that into the bottom of these little ramekins. Match. I put another one here and a little bit here to taste. It's really delicious. Okay, so I'm now going to get everything ready for the topping, the chocolate topping, then come back. I found my, um, I found another ramekin, so I've got the three ramekin thing going on here. I like things to be matching and I've got a, a, a thing about the number three. The last couple of years, the number three has been really lucky for me. For the chocolate topping, the chocolate brownie part of this dessert, I'm going to use one small avocado. And just use a spoon to scrape the flesh out. Add that in. A piece of banana. I like to use the banana in this kind of chocolate pudding for um, sweetness, really. Sometimes people just make it with the avocado by itself, but I like the banana for a bit of sweetness. Just add that in. About two tablespoons of fresh almond milk. That's actually homemade almond milk. And about the same amount... Okay, I need to be a bit more specific. You can see how I cook and throw things together. Cooking is creative. Okay, so I'm going to go with three dessert spoons of honey. Well, you could use agave. This is a proper tablespoon measure now. So two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Or you could use raw cacao. Salt, bring out them flavours, and I'm going to add some coconut oil to this because I want it to set more firmly than it being a pudding. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of melted room temperature coconut oil. So next on the agenda is to blend it up. Just keep going until it's really smooth. I can still see some little flecks of avocado in there, so I'm going to keep going until it's really smooth. Okay, let's see how that's going. Oh, it looks absolutely divine. It looks really smooth and delicious. Let me show you. Don't 
Don't tell me that isn't looking delicious. Or a little bit of that. That is exactly what I was going for. If you're feeling a bit spicy, you could put a little bit of chilli in there or some chilli powder to give it a little bit of a kick. So next, I'm going to spoon the chocolate mixture into the ramekins on top of the walnut and date base. You could eat it just the way it is now. I'm going to put it in the fridge to set up a little bit and then put a little garnish on it and come back and show you how it turns out. Okay. I'm going to garnish them with some strawberries because the tartness of the strawberries offsets the bitterness of the chocolate. And now for the taste test. I'm going to go for this one. Mm. Put in a delicious. I'm going to dig down now and get some of the base. Just tastes like a yeah, a really rich chocolate, moussey, silky smooth chocolate brownie. This will be a really good pudding for Christmas. I think I'm gonna go and um, finish these off. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, all of your friends, even the ones that are, are not raw. Because this, anyone will like this. Okay, I'll see you next time. It's Living Fruits on YouTube. Thank you for watching.